Hi, I'm Stephen Mumford. I'm a Professor of Philosophy at the University of Nottingham, UK, and I'm a visiting professor here at NMVU. Hi, I'm Ravne Lil Anjan. I work at Hamilse School here at NMVU, and I'm the Project Director of Causation in Science, and I'm a researcher here. Now, why is causation so important? Well, causation is seen as a, a little area in philosophy, but every science, every technology, medicine, law, every discipline relies on causation. Every discipline is about explanation, about prediction, it's about finding the causal connections that are in their own domain. So. Causation matters to everything, to every human science. Well, you could just imagine what would we do if there was no causation. I mean, all we could do is just observe what happens, and we couldn't ask why it happens. We couldn't ask what if this didn't happen, what would, what would follow then? So it seems like when we act, we act because we want to achieve an effect and our actions are supposed to cause them. Hmm. Now, you've just written a book on this topic, haven't you? Um, can you tell me a bit about it? It's The Causation, a very short introduction at Oxford University Press. And it's part of this series, this very short introduction series. So, uh, there are lots of books on causation already, mm -hmm. but the interesting thing about this series is it's a very widely read series and it's read by people who are not specialists, so they're not philosophers. When we were writing it, we were writing it with, with that in mind because given the, our belief that causation is the most fundamental thing in the universe, it's important to everything, then we wanted people to read the book who perhaps they've never read a book in philosophy before, mm. but they realise causation is something that they need to know about and understand. Now, you're obviously very passionate about causation. Uh, but to a lot of people, philosophy is uh, very abstract and very far removed from real life. How did you end up uh, making philosophy your vacations? Well, I, I don't know if, um, if sometimes people are just born, that kind of thing. I, I remember when I was very young, a little kid, having philosophical kinds of thoughts. So. Yeah, yeah, it is abstract, but I think you also have a sense of wonder and a sense that this, this is bigger than anything else we know and it's, it's the most vital, important questions that there are. Mm -hmm. So I, I quite like that and I still like philosophy to really tackle the big questions, mm -hmm. whereas now it's become professionalised, sometimes it ends up dealing with very little technical points. I still like philosophy to be... The big exciting questions yeah. and causation. Well, that's the biggest. The biggest is one of the most exciting of all. I mean, in philosophy, I mean, it's become very professionalized. So a lot of the literature is commentaries on commentaries, and it's hard to see what are the big questions here. But if you go back and read the really big philosophers, I mean, they do talk about maybe all of the big questions. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, I remember the first thing uh, I learned about in philosophy was philosophy of science and I learned that when we say that something is scientifically proven, it's not really scientifically proven as for all time. It might actually be wrong and I was so shocked. I always thought that science was the big truth. I didn't even know you could ask these kind of questions. So that was exciting. 